Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my quick and simple recipe for the sardines stewed down in tomato sauce and with potatoes. Now this dish is just very quick, it's very simple, it's filling, and it takes absolutely no time, especially if you're busy during the week or if you're still tired from cooking such a big Thanksgiving meal last week. This dish right here is also very cheap, so if you want to look for something very economical to make, this right here is the perfect dish. You can serve it with rice, you could serve it with roti, or you can even serve it with crackers or a slice of bread. So we're going to start off in a saute pan and I'm going to go in with some olive oil. You can use whatever type of light tasting oil or whatever type of fat in general that you want to use. Once the oil is hot and it is warmed up, you're going to go in with some sliced onions and as usual all of my ingredients and the proper measurements will be down in the description box below so you can put this dish together without any problems. And of course I'm going to go in with some more aromatics. I'm going in with some chopped hot peppers as well as some chopped scallions. Now for this dish I totally recommend that you put a good amount of pepper just because this dish is even better when it is nice and spicy. So I'm going to stir up all of these ingredients really well until they get a little bit translucent and the onions start to get golden brown. Once you see a little bit of golden color forming on the onions, maybe after about two or three minutes, you're going to go in with your thinly sliced potatoes. All I did was I peeled my potatoes, I cut them in half, and then I sliced them into these little half moon shapes, and I made them pretty thin. And the reason why you want to cut these potatoes so thin is so this way you can have this dish cook much faster. Remember, we're trying to put together a very quick meal. This meal is perfect for any weeknight meal or if you're just feeling lazy and want something really quick and homemade. All I'm going to do is stir up these potatoes with all of my aromatics. I'm going to lower my heat to a medium heat and I'm going to continue to fry this down and I'm going to cover the pan in between and allow those potatoes to get nice and tender and golden brown. Once those potatoes are nice and tender and you see that they get golden brown all over, it is time for the star of the show, the sardines. All you want to do is open that can right up and pour it into the pan with your potatoes and all of this seasonings. Now, honestly guys, I know what you're probably thinking, this is not the most appealing thing in the world, putting whole little fish into your dish. However, it is really, really delicious. And the reason why I'm not breaking it up before I put it into the pan is because as I stir it up, the fish is gonna to start to fall apart and it is gonna become a little bit mushier. So I'm gonna keep on stirring this up, break it apart just a little bit with my spoon and help it along and cook it for about five to 10 minutes until it thickens up a bit. This is what the mixture looks like after about five minutes of cooking on a medium heat. As you guys can see, the sardines have mashed up a little bit and they look really well mixed with all the potatoes and the seasonings. Now this is my little touch. Towards the end, within the, like the last five minutes, you want to go in with some very thinly sliced onions as well as some more fresh hot pepper. The reason why I do that is because it just wakes up the entire dish, makes it very flavorful, and trust me guys, if you've never tried this, you're gonna love it. So you're gonna stir this up and cook it for about four to five more minutes until the onions cook down a little bit and then it is ready to serve. Once your mixture is thickened up really well and the onions have cooked down just a little bit, you're gonna go in with a little pinch of salt as well as some black pepper to taste. Now depending on your own taste preferences, you might not need to add any salt just because the sardines have a good amount of salt in them already. And something that I'm gonna finish this dish off with is some scallions. This is gonna add a beautiful freshness, some nice color and a pop to the dish. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stir this up really well, get everything nice and combined, and then it is ready to serve and take off the heat. I truly hope you guys enjoy this quick and simple recipe today. Again, we made some sardines that were stewed down in some tomato sauce as well as some potatoes. For any of you guys out there who are skeptical about this dish, I'm telling you guys, not only is this cheap, not only is this very quick to put together, but it is very filling, it's hearty, and it is really delicious. So today I'm serving it up with some fluffy oil roti or paratha. Now if you guys want to find the fluffiest, the softest, and overall the best oil roti recipe on the internet, then you're going to have to go ahead and check out my video where I shared my recipe for that amazing flatbread. It'll be linked right up here in the right hand corner and in the description box below. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this recipe today, don't forget to give the video a nice big thumbs up. Come on over and join the Matthews Gandhi's Cooking family and hit that red subscribe button. And if you click that little bell notification icon, you will never miss out on any of my new cooking videos. And of course, you gotta leave those comments down below so I can cook up some new things for you guys. I'll see you guys again very soon.